Coach Lozier. First off, did I pronounce that right? You got it. Do people butcher that a lot? All the time. All right, you're here at C3. New job. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. How is the move from, did you live in Connecticut, by the way? I did, yeah. Did, did you, because you know, people commute in from New York, and it, it's, it's all real close. Massachusetts, yep. New York, um, Connecticut, it's all right there. You can take the train, but... um. So you go from Connecticut to North Carolina. What's the what's the transition been like? It's been it's been busy, but it's been a good busy. Uh, spent the first six weeks basically down there, kind of getting my feet on the ground and trying to, you know, make a mark in the recruiting uh, game right away. Uh, so it was real important that I started while school was still in session, so I could get in contact with guidance counselors. I could get a look at transcripts of the kids that we wanted to talk to before everyone kind of cut out for the summer. Uh, so I think we kind of cast our net really quickly. We tried to do a kind of a big sweep of the nation and see what we could collect, and we're pretty happy with where we're at. And we've got kids on campus just about every single day right now for unofficial visits. So you go from one place, Sacred Heart, you know, uphill battle, man. You guys are in the EIWA. It's a tough league. Now you're down here in the Southern Conference. It's going to be different. The SoCo is diff way different than the EIWA. Um, what what do you want to do? What what difference do you want to make right away? What's the first priority for you? Yeah, the first priority is to, is to recruit, is to bring in better quality and better quantity under our roster. Uh, and at a place like Davidson, we can do that because we have this amazing academic brand to leverage. Um, so what a lot of people see as a disadvantage, I see as, our, as one of our assets. We also have an incredibly unique location. Um, and then there is a history of success there. I mean, there have been a lot of bright spots with that program, with the Southern Conference champions and NCAA qualifiers. So what we want to do is uh, provide consistency. Uh, and then, then, you know, the big thing is kind of, you know, the monkey on the back, there's never been an All-American at Davidson in the sport of wrestling. So we've got to change that. Do you think, you know, looking at what you have coming back on the roster, how much change turnover, is that an issue for you guys? And, and how do you, as a coach, address that immediately? Sure. Uh, we're going to be lean right now. The roster is lean. So this, this year is going to be a little bit of a balancing act until we can provide some depth with our first recruiting class. Uh, you know, the first thing that, that I really said to the wrestlers when I met them was like, listen, I just want to provide a more fulfilling experience for you. However I can do that and align it with your personal goals, I'm here to help you. I mean, basically as a coach, my job is to work for you. So let me know what I can do to make this a more fulfilling and more valuable experience for you being a Davidson wrestler. You're in a way different place recruiting wise. You were in Jersey at Princeton. Yeah. Now you're, you know, then you went to Connecticut. Yeah. You're on New York border there. Rich recruiting tradition there, obviously. Long Island. I mean, Jersey. I mean, you got it all right there. Now you're down in the South. What do you do recruiting wise? You're here at C3 for a reason. It's not like you landed here by mistake. Um, what are you looking for recruit wise? Yeah, I think, you know, we are able to recruit nationally again because of the academic brand um, and, and that's helpful to us, but we also want to we, all, we want to leverage our position where we are regionally. And I was saying to the group of guys when we started here, I don't think there's an area in the country that's experiencing more growth um, and improvement in, in wrestling than Georgia and the surrounding areas right now. So we definitely want to make ourselves a player in this market. And you know, North Carolina is interesting. There's like a ton of colleges that have wrestling in North Carolina. So it's you know it's a competitive environment down here. If they're good kids in the South. They're gonna they're gonna be getting hit at from a lot of different colleges. Because you have your ACC schools, right? You have your SOCON schools, and then you have D2 and AI schools. North Carolina has the second most D1s, I believe. I think so. Yeah, because PA's got the, the most. Right. Um, in looking at it, uh, what's the, the move been like for your family? You know, you go from the East Coast where there's snow, now you come down to Charlotte, North Carolina. What is that culturally like for you and your family at least? It's a real positive. So kind of the story goes like this. I came to Davidson for the first time in 2014 when I was the head coach at Sacred Heart. We had a dual meet. And it was a Sunday afternoon duel in the middle of February. Had gotten my team ready. Everybody was on weight. Had some time to kill. So I threw on a pair of running shoes. It's like 65 degrees in February. And I went for a run around campus. And within like a minute, I was just totally hooked. The place is gorgeous and it has an incredible tradition in history. It was founded in 1837. So then I break off into town and my feelings of um, being connected to, to Davidson are only compounded because the town is fantastic and it's right on Lake Norman in North Carolina. 
So at that point in time, I kind of said, wow, like I loved where I was at Sacred Heart. I really did, but I was just going to keep my eye on Davidson. And if it ever were to open up, I'd be very interested in pursuing it. So then this crazy sequence of events happens, and I'm just really, really grateful to have the opportunity to be in North Carolina and to be at Davidson. And my family is finally down with me. We were separated for about six weeks during the transition. All right, we got some guys that are about to be doing some working out. You're here to recruit. We're going to be watching some stuff. You got anything else for me? No, it's great to see you. It's been a long time. It has Happy been to a be long time. Down here in the south and look forward to getting Davidson wrestling up and running. Hey, thanks for the uh, technique today and safe travels. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it.